than that, today, uh, you know, the, the university is conducting a very, very big event. It's a graduation day for mm-hmm. all of the students in, in America and also from many countries abroad. And uh, I can see that, you know, many people here are already, you know, busy mm-hmm. with their gown and with their activities and parents are coming, you know, they are all feel excited. But uh, my first question to you is that, you know, because uh, micro campus approach is a bit new to Cambodia mm-hmm. and uh, of course, you know, uh, many students who come to graduate here, dual degree, they all study in the micro campuses of Univers- University of Arizona in other countries. So why is the University of Arizona decided to come up with this, you know, kind of system for people abroad? Yeah, great question. Um, so we're very proud that the University of Arizona has such a unique micro campus model. Mm-hmm. Um, and the reason that we came up with it is because There's a lot of different factors and difficulties sometimes when someone from a different country wants to come and study at a main campus in the United States. So our micro campus model helps to um, promote education and access to higher education and American accreditation of that education in their home country. So our whole model helps to bring American education to a student in their own country so that they can get a degree right from where they live with their family and friends. Uh, so when you know does the uh, you know, University of Arizona decided to come up with the uh, you know micro campuses approach? Great question. So we first launched our whole micro campus initiative in the year of 2015, mm-hmm. and we have 18 different micro campuses in 14 different countries. Between studying the dual degree, you know, back in Cambodia at AUPP, you know, and studying, for example, you know, for for some family that they want to send their children here mm-hmm. directly at mm-hmm. you know the U- University of Arizona. So which one do you think you know? Is there any remarkable differences between the two two systems? Yeah, I think that um, so each option definitely has pros and cons, right? Mm -hmm. It depends on what a person is looking for to graduate with. We do believe that our students that are studying in our dual degree program um, have a great advantage because Mm -hmm. they're graduating with two different bachelor's degrees. Mm -hmm. And these two degrees are being recognized. One is accredited from their home country and one is accredited from the United States. Even if they never came here, they still got the same accreditation. So they have an advantage in the sense that they're graduating with two degrees at the same time. So they're saving a lot of time. So when they go to get a job, usually they're more competitive. Um, They have more competition on where their degrees are recognized. Mm -hmm. And in the field and on a resume, they look very competitive for their job fields as well. But if they have the chance to come and study here directly, that would be a lot better, right? Yes, yeah. so we do have an opportunity actually for our students to come here for one semester. It's called Study Arizona. Mm-hmm. It's like a study abroad experience that we provide for our dual degree students studying at a micro campus. Mm-hmm. Um, so they can still come here for one semester before going back to their home country or institution to graduate. Mm-hmm. And that experience here, they're taking classes on main campus, they're taking classes with American students or just main campus students so they get the in-person experience of being on campus student life Mm -hmm. and learning from an instructor here as well so we do provide that option for students if they want to come here as well yes Amanda but you know back in AUPP because um, the the audiences they know more about AUPP Mm -hmm. of course there are two options the Mm -hmm. single degree option and the dual degree option yeah. and most of the time you know parents and students they try to jiggle around you know mm-hmm. which one to choose which which yeah. one will bring them more you know advantage mm-hmm. so between single degree and dual degree uh, which one do you think you know it is more you know preferable and you know your recommendation which one do you think that it is better um i think that the dual degree is a really smart option. Mm -hmm. Um, It Again, it depends on what people are looking for in their careers and in their future. Mm -hmm. But for the dual degree program, you are not just getting two degrees that are recognized globally, but you're getting two different learning experiences. So you're working in groups um, that are being instructed by an American professor, most likely from main campus, Mm -hmm. because we use a flipped classroom model. Mm -hmm. So the students that graduate from our program are learning in two different types of classroom environments. They're learning from their instructor at AUPP in Cambodia, but they're also learning from an instructor here. Mm -hmm. So they're teaching in different ways. So their whole educational experience and perspective is really growing 
from two different ways throughout their program. So when they graduate with two different degrees, it's not just about the degree, it's about the learning experience that they go through because of being in this program that somebody that has a single degree may not have experienced. Mm. And you think that this experience will one day pay off the effort that they put now? Yeah, I do yeah. see that um, depending on the field, definitely, it really prepares you for working with different types of people, different working environments in their career in the future, mm -hmm. even an answering interview questions. Um, their resume is more competitive. Mm -hmm. So for a lot of different reasons, I think that they will be more well-rounded and more um, competitive when they're going to get a job because of their experience. Um, if someone is in our micro campus dual degree program, mm -hmm. they are a regular U of A student as well, just as somebody is on main campus. Mm -hmm. So they have access to all of our resources here at main campus. So the difference is if somebody is at AUPP and they're getting a single degree, they can benefit from the great resources that AUPP already provides to those students. But if someone's in our dual degree program, they have access to AUPP's resources and ours. So for us, they have access to our library, with online articles and journals for their own research or assignments. Um, we do have something called Think Tank, which is free tutoring services for students. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of writing workshops and engagement opportunities out throughout the semester and sometimes even throughout the summer to keep students engaged. So they benefit from both resources from both institutions if they are in our dual degree program. Well, they learn harder, but they learn more. Normally, yes. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, definitely. More available to them from more both sides. To them, yes. Yeah. Uh, so, Amanda, I mean, uh, for example, you know, as I was informed, there are about, you know, 20 U University of Arizona micro campuses around the world, you know, in, you know, near Cambodia, they are in Hanoi, in Jakarta, in China. But, you know, uh, because, you know, there's one in Cambodia also. So may I ask, like, uh, you know, what is the requirement for, for, for AUPP to have in order for the U University of Arizona to come? and pick AUPP as their, as their partner, let's say. Okay, great question. Yeah. So when the University of Arizona is looking for a partner institution to create a micro campus, they're looking at such factors as academic reputation of that institution, infrastructure, and quality of their faculty when they're selecting a partner. actually are always trying very actively to make sure that they have the same exact resources mm -hmm. so that they can be as successful in any class that they're taking if they were to be here or there. Um, so all of our academic resources, help, engagement opportunities, mm -hmm. as long as they have a Wi-Fi connection on their campus, yeah, yeah. they have access to everything. Mm -hmm. um, so there really should not be anything hindering them or any disadvantages because they're getting the same degree mm -hmm. with all of the same opportunities and resources. Well, every choices have pros and cons and that is normal. Yeah, Yeah. yeah if anything, yeah. they have more advantages because they get to be comfortable in their home country mm -hmm. with their family while getting yeah. the same degree yeah. from where they're at. Yeah. Yeah. But Amanda, you know, across the micro campuses all around, you know, the globe that you have, um, do you see an increase in students taking dual degree over the years? Yes, we do. Actually, our numbers grow every single year. We're adding um, more program options, especially at AUPP2. We have a couple new um, majors coming out, so new program availability there. And we're seeing the numbers grow because I think that students are realizing they don't know exactly where their futures will bring them. They're not mm. sure exactly what country they will work in, where they will make the most money or the most impact. So when you get these two different degrees that are accredited from two different um, countries and continents in the world, they realize that they have more opportunity opening up for their future. They know that they can work in more places and that their degrees can take them even further since they're recognized from two different places. Yes, Amanda. But, uh, you know, for, let's say, parents in Cambodia who wish to enroll their children Children, you know, in uh, in AUPP or in Arizona, mm -hmm. uh, University of Arizona. So, can you tell us a bit about this campus? You know, just a general information. What do you offer? And or maybe just a bit about the state of Arizona as a whole. You know, if they want to, if they want to pursue their education here. Yeah. So. Um 
Arizona main campus is very big. We are a public university and our campus is public. Um, that means we have a lot of different things on our campus since it's so big. Like our library is humongous. We have a public theater and movie theater. We have events happening all the time. Um, so the experience on this campus is different than AUPP in the sense that our campus is um, open. So we have lots of different events happening all the time for, for student life and different things to get involved in. Yeah, so the state of Arizona was founded in 1912. Our university here, um, University of Arizona, is our first public university in the state of Arizona, and it was founded in 1885, so it's over a century old. Yes, and you know, I heard that there's a lot of sunshine here, so students might be comfortable, yeah. especially those from trop tropical area like Cambodia. They yeah. might find it easier to live here, maybe? Yeah, so um, yeah. the heat is similar. Mm -hmm. We don't have any humidity, um, but most of the year is sunshine days here. So we have a lot of different activities for students to get involved in on the weekends. So when they're not studying in class, there's a lot of outdoor activities that they could do on their own or even mm -hmm. with the university. Um, we have Grand Canyon here. Uh, so a lot of people come here and visit the Grand Canyon. We're mm -hmm. also close to California and there's a lot of different outdoor stuff for people to adventure in Tucson. Um, it's very diverse. We're mm -hmm. known for our variety of food and different festivals and activities that we have just in Tucson as well. So for example, students from Cambodia, they come to study here, they get a good education and at the same time the weather, the environment, the food yeah. maybe, you know, from Mexico, Mexico mm -hmm. they can, you know, maybe be like a leaf easier also yeah, yeah, yeah I think yeah. it's really comfortable living anything that anybody needs they can definitely find here um, there's a variety like I said of food and different people as well we are a land-grant university so we have a lot of different cultures happening on this campus that we're really proud of um, and that involves different food and activity opportunities as well and Amanda I mean you know in Cambodian society uh, currently you know, parents, they have several choices, let's mm -hmm. say. Sending their children to the US, sending ch their children to EU, you know, European countries mm -hmm. like England mm -hmm. or Germany, something mm -hmm. like that. And also they can send their children to Oceania. Mm -hmm. Australia is one of the top choice for them. Yeah. So how would you rank University of Arizona in the US comparing to other, other uh, nation, let's say? That's a great question. Mm -hmm. um, I think that our US accreditation is very competitive in the job market, um, mm -hmm. especially in the fields of business and law. A lot of people want to come to an American university to study mm -hmm. these specific things because of the job market and because of the accreditation of their degree that they're getting. Um, so we're very excited and confident that our degree is still marketable and valued because of our US accreditation. Uh, so basically Basically, you know, students with dual degree will get a better chance in getting a job in the U.S. or U.S. equivalent countries, let's say in general? Yeah, definitely. I always yeah. tell students the same thing, and I mean it. Um, mm -hmm. I'm always jealous of their opportunity because yeah. they don't get just one bachelor's degree from one country. They get two different bachelor's degrees, mm -hmm. sometimes in two different majors, too, at the same time. Um, and that degree is recognized globally, which makes mm -hmm. them so competitive. They can get jobs in various places around the world. So not just the U.S., no? No, not just yeah, the yeah. U.S., yeah. They don't even have to just come to the U.S. to work because they graduate from the university in Cambodia. They can still work in Cambodia. If they change their mind eventually, they can come here and use their U.S. accredited degree. Mm -hmm. So the options really are endless for these students, either right when they graduate or in their future. I see, Amanda. And the last question, because yesterday I attended the party, you know, like we are graduate come together and meet yeah. each other in a museum. Mm -hmm. And I see there are many, you know, nationalities. So is it the university's core value in our, you know, to, to promote you know, like uh, different nationalities in the campus? Yeah, so it's very important to the University of Arizona to mm. have inclusion on our campus and our micro campus initiative is very much a part of that. We want to promote education and mobility for students so that they can study at a micro campus or micro campus students can come here. We want that education to be um, flexible mm. and be inclusive of different cultures and from different people around the world. So at last night's event, we were really proud that we had students that were representing over 75 different countries and everybody was getting a degree from the University of Arizona. So we were really proud to have that global representation.